Hello, my name's Pam from the Linda Jackson Centre and I'm a member of the complementary therapy team and myself and Anne are going to demonstrate a very short breathing practice that's on our website called Breathing Space. It's actually using breath work together with two acupressure points which are so helpful for lung conditions like breathlessness or coughing or even for anxiety. So this little practice is actually to help us during challenging times but also to help us if we have breathing issues. Anne will be demonstrating a very simple technique of just working with the breath and then we will pause and we will then show the location of two amazing acupressure points which are so helpful to help with our breath work and actually put these two practices together. So it's bringing to life the leaflet on our website and helping you find the location of the points. Thank you. As Pam said, I'm Anne. I'm going to take you through a short breathing technique and if you are breathless and you find your breath a bit uneven, this is really useful. So find yourself sitting comfortably, nice support underneath your bottom and your back nice and straight because your breath works better if your rib cage is straight. If you're leaning back, you're going to find that your breath is under stress and you might think of that in other things you do in the day if you're breathless. So, you know, think about your posture when you're sitting at home watching television and you're leaning back in the chair, you might find that puts your breath under stress. So just think about how you're sitting. So let's take the idea of breathing in and out through the nose and find yourself breathing in for a count of three and out for a count of four. Not too long but it's an easy to manage breath. So breathing in, two, three, pausing, and breathing out, two, three, four, and pausing. Don't pause for long, just enough to let the time settle and for you to breathe back again. In, two, three, and pause. Out, two, three, four, and pause. Nice release shoulders, nice straight back. Feel the breath in your back a little bit. So again, breathe in, two, three, pause, and out, two, three, four, and pause. Keep it easy. Breathing in, pausing, breathing out, and pausing. Keep the count and that will help to keep your breath steady. If you have to stop and just settle down and take another short breath, that's fine. But go back again. Keep some practice. In for three, pause, and out for four. And in time, you'll find, especially with Pam's pressure points as well that she's going to show you, that it helps your breath to settle and you get used to being able to have a steady breath. So that really helped breathlessness. So if shoulders down, rib cage free, you're not using your belly down here to breathe, you're using your rib cage. So in for three, feel your back gently stretching a little bit, pause, breathe out for four. And you get a nice gentle expansion here. And then gradually as you get used to that breath as it settles, you may be able to have a slightly longer count and a deeper breath, but let's not push it, it's little steps. Okay, good luck. Well done. Thank you. Right, now we're going to go into the second part of the breathing sequence. We've looked at the three, four breath and just getting ourselves set up. And now we're going to look at two acupressure points. These are points on something known as the lung channel, which is used in acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine to support the lungs in all sorts of ways. So we're going to select a couple of points which are really easy to find, easy to work 
on the hands which can support and ease our breathing and also are very calming in themselves. But before we start, just want to take a couple of moments just to get ourselves into a really good position, just to help our bodies support our breathing, actually. So first of all, just feel yourself in the chair. Feel your weight supported by the seat of the chair. Take a moment. And then just feel the openness across the chest. So from the tip of one shoulder, through the chest to the other shoulder. Feel yourself nice and wide. Either side here beneath the collarbones are points in Chinese medicine which connect with what we call the start of the lung channel. So just by sitting openly like this, you are starting to actually free up the lungs themselves. Then take your mind to the back of the body, to the space between your shoulder blades. Feel there being width between the shoulder blades, particularly the upper shoulder blades. Feel your shoulder blades sliding down your back towards your waist. Just take a moment. Now the area between the shoulder blades at the back, the upper back, also connect to the lungs in Chinese medicine. So just by sitting in this way, nice and open, across the front, spacious at the back, we are already starting to support our breathing. So next, let's have a look at the acupressure points. So on our website, we talk about um, the leaflet, which uh, there's space to breathe, which looks at two acupressure points. So the first one is actually on the palm side of the hand, just on the thumb pad. Now we talk about it in the leaflets being in the centre of the thumb pad, but just for precision now, because we can explain it a little bit more in detail. If we just have a look here, it's actually, if you're looking at your hand, you've got a knuckle of the thumb and you've got the bony bit at the end of the thumb where it joins the wrist. And halfway along, if you place your thumb there and then slide across the bone, into the fleshy part of the thumb pad. Place your thumb there, place your hands in your lap and just start to focus on that area. Now this point has the name lung 10. The name may not mean a lot, but just remember that this point helps with shallow breathing, it helps with cough and it helps us feel calmer. So it's a lovely point just to Gently work, let your thumb sink in as if it's sinking into a pillow. Shoulders released and breath being nice and slow. Feeling your thumb merging into that thumb pad. Okay. So for about a minute, just let yourself follow this breath nice and comfortably. And then we're coming to the second point. So this one is almost directly above the point we'd call lung 10. And this one is on the wrist crease. So if you look, you follow along the wrist crease, you feel the tendon and you just drop into that little space. So here's my thumb, going to come in, drop into that space. And this point is called lung 9. So here we go, just holding. I roll my hand round and I just let the thumb sink in again, slowing my breath. This point also great for the breath. It helps with shallowness of the breath. It helps with coughing. It does have a wonderful action when we feel very depleted, so cold and depleted, that kind of lack of energy and when we have lung issues. So it's a wonderful point for that. It's a fantastic point when we feel like things have become completely overwhelming, where we feel we've lost our way. And this point kind of raises us up out of that dip. Okay, so it helps bring us back. So again, come back to the breath, keep lovely and open through the body, feel the pressure gently of the thumb working, feel your breathing and just take your mind there. Okay, 
and then we swap to the other side. So just to remind you, we start with this first point just below where we were working in the thumb pad. Okay, so just coming across halfway between these two points here, the knuckle, the bone at the base here, halfway along, roll over the bone into the fleshy pad, place your hand comfortably, use a cushion if you need to, keep nice and open in the body, elbows dropping away, just focus and take yourself back to the breath. Just knowing that we're helping ease respiratory issues, helping with coughing, helping with shortness of breath. May not feel a lot to begin with, but just know that actually the more you work, the more you'll find that sense of connection. And then the second point we're coming up, this one was on the wrist crease. It's got the name Lung 9 just into that space before the tendon. So you place your thumb, roll round, and just come back to the breath. Lovely and calm, lovely and open. So again, this one helps with shortness of breath, coughing, and that sense of kind of, oh, depletion. Lovely, okay, so just to recap, We've looked at working with a 3-4 breath and just coming back to an easy breath. We've looked at using two really simple to use acupressure points which have a wonderful action. So simple and so calming as well. So hope you get on well with that, have a go. If you can try that a couple of times a day or once a day, when you think about it, wonderful. But just take your mind there, take your focus there. Take a moment to let your body be open and then focus on the breath, okay? We're going to be doing more videos like this, so do have a look on the Linda Jackson website, but thank you for joining us. Thank you.